Hi everyone, welcome to my page. My name is Jessica. Here we discuss universal reconciliation, the good news that everyone has been saved in Christ, whether you are a believer or not. Nothing has to be done on your part to be saved because it was already done by Jesus 2,000 years ago. So I'm visiting family in Delaware. Um, I'm out trail running. Well, it's really pretty out here. I'm trying to trail run, but it's like, it's like about 90 degrees. The humidity has got to be at least 70%. So it's more like a trail hike. I have an 18 mile uh, race that I'm training for next month up in Jim Thorpe, PA. So I'm not really ready for it, but whatever, I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, oh, this looks nice. Here, let me get a picture going into the cornfield. Um, so yesterday I met up with a friend and I've been friends with her for years. I love this girl. Uh, we've, we went to the same church together. We did some other things together, uh, church related, of course. <laughs> and so I sat, sat her down in her backyard and I was like, look, I really want to share with you like the good news, like that there, the good news where there is no bad news in the good news. It's 100%, what was that? Sorry, I thought I heard something. 100% good news. And so I shared with her how in Christ, or sorry, no, not in Christ, in Adam, how we were all condemned and in Christ, we will all be justified. And I showed her verses in Colossians um, and I explained to her the people who are in the body of Christ I gave her examples like, you know, Baptists, Pentecostals are not in the body of Christ because they think they have to do something to uh, earn salvation. But in fact, you don't have to do anything. Whether you're a believer or not a believer, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. God is the one who gives you faith. And if you believe that Jesus uh, died for everyone's sins, including yours, was buried or entombed and then was roused on the third day, then you're part of the body of Christ. And I've mentioned different advantages of that. And at the end of it, she said she thinks she believes, so that's cool. I mean, it's all in God's hands as to whether or not she's truly in the body of Christ. Um, but I hope that this just encourages you to, like, you know, go out there and tell somebody about the good news. Because it's not a bad message. I think the only ones that really hate the good news are the ones that love bad news. Misery loves company. So those are the really religious ones. And then we started talking about how how fake Christianity's love is towards each other. Because as soon as, I used to be really close with the pastor. And as soon as I stopped going to that church, he completely completely cut me out. Like I didn't even exist. I couldn't believe that. Like I was really hurt by that because I like, I did everything with him. I was like his sidekick. And I, I even pet sat their dogs when they went on vacation. So I was at their house. And like when I stopped going, it was like, Shh. and that happened twice with two different, an apostle, there's no more apostles and a pastor. So. Their love is very flaky and it's it's not the kind of love that Jesus has because Jesus even died for his enemies. He died to reconcile them, which is the real good news. Jesus is not gonna burn. He's not gonna tell you to love your enemies and then turn around and burn them forever. <laughs> That's crazy. It's completely hypocritical. You know, the gospel message is so simple and religion, all it does is complicate it. It adds a bunch of works. It's like, they say that even like the KJV only people like that I was for a while, they'll say that, you know, you need to believe and then you're eternally secure. But if you stop believing, then you're going to go to hell. But, the, but then they believe in eternal security. They don't know what they're talking about. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to encourage you. I hope you guys have a good day. Be careful in this heat, wherever you are in the world and leave a comment. I'd like to chit chat with you guys. All right. Bye.